Cool. So we're inside of Windows here, and I'm going to show you how you can check the file integrity of uh, the files you download online. And I'm going to use VeraCrypt here as an example. If you click here to download it, you download the download. I've al already done it. So you can go down here to check some and press here on SHA-256. So this is the version I just downloaded. So if I open up my uh, downloads folder here, programs, and here you can see I have VeraCrypt right there. And we're going to check this number with the number we get put out from uh, the checksum. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to open up a notepad here. I'm just going to paste in the number from here. I'm going to close this one down for a minute. I can now close down uh, internet here too. And I'm going to keep this one open. We're going to go down to the Windows icon or the start icon, right click on it, Windows PowerShell admin, and then we type uh, yes to approve it. So now what you do to check the number is you type in get hyphen file hash space. And now you go over to the program you downloaded, you left click on it once, you go up here to copy path. If you don't see this, if yours looks like this, you're gonna go home, share, view, and so on. Or you can just click over here on this little uh, chevron here. So now you hit copy path. You can either uh, paste it in with Control V or just right click and it will auto should automatically paste it back in here. And then you hit enter. Now you can see we have the algorithm is the SHA-256. This is the hash number we need and we're going to check with the one that they put out on their web page. So I'm just going to go mark it. Command control C. Close this down. I'm going to open up our notepad again. Then we're just going to go one line down. Now we can run over it. these numbers make sure they're exactly the same here. And the reason you check this is because if you download a file and this number from the file you downloaded is different than the one they gave you, they have had a breach. So someone has been on this file and they put something in there, taking something out from it that shouldn't be there. Or if you download a file, a program, and these numbers match, but you get malware, you know you can't trust that developer anymore. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you like it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And once I get everything set up here in the office, uh, I will get back with more stuff and better videos.